Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, today I'm making a video in a very beautiful space, with a ball, with a football shirt, I'm gonna walk to it now, because this is the beautiful spot of our house, we have a own small football pitch, yes, we have a small football pitch, and I'm gonna score a goal, no, that's not a goal guys, uh, in today's video, again talking about some amazing Bitcoin charts, also giving you a trading tip, of course a travel tip, of course also some other news that I read today, uh, it's going to be a video packed with information, so enjoy it to the fullest guys. Let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is happening with Bitcoin. Are we going to break 28k or not? Let's see. Bam! The first chart for today, guys, this is a beautiful day chart in Bitcoin. We can see the dead cross that we talked about at, uh, during that period. Um, that was lagging behind. I told you at that time, look, we already crashed a massive amount with all those red candles. That dead cross is lagging behind. And after that cross, we should uh, form a bullish cross again. And that is when the green line will cross over that red line again. You can see the dotted part that is like the prediction where the red and the green line will go. So we could in November somewhere cross again, or we need to climb steeply now with the Bitcoin price to cross even earlier. And when we see a bull cross, a golden cross, that is like bullish. That is when the green uh, is crossing the 200 day moving average, that red one. We are fighting that red level, as you see on the day chart. We are constantly hitting the 200 day moving average. You can see it, all those candles. Or we find resistance, we pull back to that green line again, or we break it and then we are about to break that orange line even, uh, which is a beautiful line of 28,560, which makes us very bullish, guys. Let's jump into the next chart. Before I jump into this chart, guys, I want to remind you that you should be trading on Bybit. If you want to trade on Bybit, use the links down below my video. You can claim up to 30,000 US dollar in bonuses, depending on how much you deposit. And you get $30 for just signing up, guys. And aside of that, everyone that signed up through my affiliate link will very soon be able to win amazing prizes with a 100% win guarantee so make sure you sign up today because then you can join the beautiful thing that i'm gonna share with you in the next couple of videos guys now now into the second chart this chart is the, uh, created by the titan of crypto uh, yes on this two weekly candle chart so every candle has two weeks uh, we can see that the bull flag playing out uh, a huge pole a huge flag and if that bull flag would play out the way it normally plays out so the pole length will be the target then we would go to a bitcoin price of 41,000 us dollar and yes as you can see at the bottom of the chart it could take all the way up to 2024 but this area is the area should be you should be buying to make that beautiful profit all the way up to that 41,000 us dollar guys so yes this is a very clear buy signal. The bull flag is a very valid pattern that often plays out, especially during the bull market. So you should be buying Bitcoin today. And then we have the last chart, guys. Also very good chart. We can see these beautiful squares, the green, the red, and the orange, the purple, and then the green again. Now, we had the bear market, that red one. We are in the recovery, that orange one. Sometimes we have a pre-halving pullback, like last year we had a huge pre-halving pullback but that was the COVID crash the last time i need to say normally it is a smaller pullback before the halving and before that huge green area again the bull market so you should be buying now there is always the possibility that we have a small pullback where you buy a little bit more but if you look to the bull market in 2012 to 13 in that purplish area we only went up if you look into the bull market 2016-17 in that purple area, yes, we pulled back a little bit, but then again, quickly went up. Now, 2021 bull market, same, we pulled back and then we went up. So these areas between 25 and 30K are the areas to accumulate Bitcoin to be joining the beautiful, beautiful green bull market that's ahead of us in 2024-25. That were the charts for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, it's always very important in Bitcoin to zoom out, look at the bigger picture. Don't zoom in too much on the like minute uh, time frames or the five minutes or the 15 minutes. Only when you're a trader, you're zooming in. And if you want to become a trader and you want, need some help, we have this VIP uh, Telegram group where you can get Bitcoin signals, Bitcoin USDT signals. You see what trades we are trading. We will coach you. This trade we are opening with a long or a short, and then we are adapting the stop loss, etc., etc., etc. So you can. Follow 
follow the steps we take and that's uh, maybe helping you to decide how to become a better trader as well guys so that were the charts let's quickly jump into the trading tip bam The trading tip has to do with uh, last weekend, guys, because the weekends, Bitcoin is always more volatile. So it's very important to understand which moments of the weeks you trade. We don't trade that much in the weekend because on the weekend I really want to enjoy life. And the weekend, the volatility is different than during the work week. So it's very interesting to see now the shift in Bitcoin because of the more professional people trading Bitcoin on the CME and all that stuff, even the CME gaps are being created because of that on Friday and on Monday. So the weekend is not the best time to trade. The best time to trade is Monday to Friday. In the weekend, it's time to enjoy life and to play football with me here on the field. Let's see if you can win. Um, that was the trading tip for today. Be aware of the weekends that they are more volatile than the weekdays. And now that we're uh, talking tips guys another beautiful tip is of course the travel tip in traveling with a family it is very important that you include the children in the decisions if you're very young i understand you're not doing that like two or three or four years old but the moment when they turn 12 13 14 and all the way up to 18 it's very important that you include them in all your decisions because they are becoming their own human beings they are becoming like adults and during the period they want to become independent and they want to be able to decide things for themselves so also with traveling as a family which is completely different emotion from the normal life like living on a fixed place that you need to understand the emotion of the children when you travel so it's very important that you talk a lot about it but also uh, include them in decisions which house to rent they all said ah this is a beautiful house we love the pool we love the, the football field with it so then you know you include them and they feel uh, that they are part of that family and they are part of becoming an adult because they now can make decisions as well so when traveling very important when a family when the kids grow up give them a right to speak as well when it comes to making decisions for your family that was a travel tip for today And when it comes to the lifestyle tip guys i think it's very important to understand that you need to act as if you're a student never be too big to ask a question and never know too much to learn something new just always be curious don't feel too big to be able to ask questions it's not bad to ask a question asking for help is not a weakness it's a strength so never be too big to ask that question and never uh, know too much to learn something new, guys. That's uh, my beautiful lifestyle tip for today. Always be open to learn something new every day, guys. And the news for today, guys, is very uh, simple news. It's nothing to do with crypto. It has to do with family. Uh, my brother and his wife, Chantal, and uh, my niece, Joan, arrived yesterday in Thailand again. So, yes, we are together again for one month. They are staying here, and then they are going to do and discover all the islands. As you know, my brother is always also all in Bitcoin. He also sold his house last year. Everything was timed perfectly. He dollar cost average into Bitcoin, around 19,200 US dollar per Bitcoin. So he did really nice because he's a shitload of profit already and he has been traveling already for more than one year now all over the world and now here again visiting us in Thailand and staying here again for three four months I think as well uh, so that's the news for the day the family is reunited and uh, you will see some more videos of my brother and me together him also explaining how emotionally everything went for them by going all in uh, and, and their opinion on this new lifestyle that they're living now for a year with a daughter and um, you know how they experience it so you again can learn from other people like me that did it as well like my brother so that was the news for the day family is reunited I will now go to the question of one of the followers uh, they were asking us about schooling again of the children we received that question many times how do you handle the schools with your kids so we are unschoolers homeschoolers slash lifestyle schoolers we just school them like life the school of life we we don't put them into classes we don't force them into classes if they want to go into a classroom they are allowed to go into a classroom or into a school they just don't want to because they learn a lot of the way that we travel we just travel and during the travel you can do so much things and the kids will learn so many stuff just from the life that we are living that we think that's important enough because we think different about the future of schooling guys i think the future of schooling is going to change tremendously 
Do you really believe that like with AI and ChatGPT and all that stuff, that it's still important to memorize books, to memorize data, to memorize history, to memorize all of that stuff? That stuff will all be in your iPhone or in your ears or in whatever thing, chip that we will have integrated. The knowledge that we are taught today is not the knowledge that we will need in the future. And we want to prepare our kids for the future and not for the past. And now we see everything that I've been saying already for five, six years, like we will have these earplugs that we can talk different languages to each other and still understand each other. This is already happening. It's already for sale. So why do I want to coach the kids to do something like that when I need to coach them for something else that they really need in the future? Network, social contacts and creativity. I think those are the most important things for the future for the kid guys. So we handle school different. It's not better, it's not worse, it's just different. So we just let them free whatever they want. If they want to go to a school, we will make sure they can go to a school. If they don't want to go to a school and they want to learn a different way, they are allowed to learn in a different way. Freedom, that's all what it's about. And with that guys, I come to an end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed again the charts, all the other information. Yes, this one was a little bit shorter than normal. Uh, it's because I went pedal today. Uh, pedal, and now I'm scoring goal. Let's go, 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 go. So this morning I went for pedal. I still need to get into the rhythm of making the videos. And I'm still, of course, I'm going to walk the beach because the beach is very close by. So I'm going to walk the beach and talk to the beach over there because I feel, I feel more in an element on the beach guys so hopefully you enjoyed this video so give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about all this information and what do you think about our new beautiful private football field bam